Hello doctors. Good afternoon. Welcome back to our classes. In today's class, we are going to discuss a detailed lecture regarding Avarna. Most of you will come to know this Avarna word in your RVV or else in Sharira Kriya and in the final year, it will come in the Kai Chikitsa. Okay. It is the most important terminology which every one of us must have know what is Savarana because this is the main cause which will lead to a specific disease in the future. So that everyone of you must know what is Savarana, what is the definition, what are the synonyms and all. Okay, if, if it is asked in the examination point of view means at that time you have to write some points and you have to highlight them. I will mention what you have to write in the examination point of view and it is important in our clinical practice also because we have to diagnose a disease based on this Avarana only. So, you have to have a clean and clear idea regarding the topic Avarana both in theoretical as well as in practical point of view also. I will make you clear regarding this topic in this lecture. So, what you have to do is like our video, subscribe to our channel, share our video to your friends so that you can get the most interesting lectures in our future classes. So, let us move on to Avarana topic. Avarana. The word Avarana. By hearing this, every one of you might have different, uh, what you have to say, different kinds of meanings in your mind. Okay, Avarana means covering and all. It is the correct thing only. Avariyate deha. Chaitanya Avarane Achadana Shodana Matre. This is the slogan which is said by Vachaspati. If it is tough to remember this line, Avariyate Deha Chaitanya Avarane Achadane Sadane Matre, then you can write it in an English meaning. The definition the word Avarana means what does it mean? To envelop, to mask, to overlap, to cover. All these terms means the covering. Avarana means to envelop, mask, overlap and finally covering. Thus completes the definition part. In this topic Avarana, you will come to um, two words. You will come to know two words. Avarya and Avaraka. Okay. I will mention it here. Then it will be easy for you to understand and to remember in examination also. Here were the two words. Avarana is formed by the combination of these two words. Avarya and Avaraka. Here combination means, means Avarana is the procedure which is done by Avarya and Avaraka. What is Avarya? The entity which gets obstructed, okay, the entity which gets obstructed is Avarya, okay. In some conditions, this Avarya is also termed as Avrita, okay. Avarya or Avrita is the one which gets obstructed, which obstructs, the one which obstructs is considered as Avaraka, okay. The one which gets obstructed is Avarya. The one which obstructs is the Avaraka. If suppose you can um, you can remember this in an easy concept. I'll I'll make you clear regarding this Avarya and Avaraka. The one which gets obstructed is called Avaraka. Avrata or Avarya. Okay. Here it is. The one which gets obstructed. Okay. Here it is Avarya or Avrita. The one which covers it is Avaraka. Okay. Is it clear? The one which covers is Avaraka. The one which gets covered by is Avarya. The Avarya functions will be obstructed by this Avaraka. Is it clear? Next. Coming to the Lakshana. The Lakshana will be different things um, based on each and every classification. And what you have to remember in this Lakshana is 
whenever there is increase or else decrease in the function of vata then avarana may be inferred means avarana will be anumana pramana we have to use our anumana pramana in such cases whenever there is vata functions increase or else decrease okay here you can infer avrita dosha avrita dosha function will be limited the dosha which gets covered by some other dosha will be there no avrita dosha the one which gets covered as it is covered by some other thing that function will be reduced on the other hand the one which covers the other its functions will be increased state if suppose if suppose kapha is overlapped by vata here what is kapha it is avarya what is vata it is avaraka what is obstructed here kapha what obstructs here vata is it clear here the functions of kapha will be in reduced state and functions of vata will be in an increased state i am making you clear in this session only after this session you the one who follows this class must be thorough with this avarna topic so be thorough and concentrate on this lecture the one which gets obstructed is avarya or avrita the one which obstructs is avaraka you can remember that in this single diagram okay in the inner circle it is avarya and the outer circle is avaraka the avarya functions will be diminished or reduced and the avaraka functions will be increased or or in vriddhi condition is seen in the condition of avaraka okay this completes the detailed main features of this avarana and later on move on to the classification what is the total number of avarana types first of all you have to know the total number later on you have to know is there any types if so what are the types and what are the individual classifications and all in total there were 44 avarana okay in that 20 will be anyony avarana and 22 will be paraspara avarana okay most of our acharyas like cheraka said cheraka acharya said 42 types of avarana and ashtanga sangraka said 22 ashtanga hridaya said as 42 okay these were the types of avarana and some other will add plus 2 at the last and consider them as 44 but in most of the cases the types of avarana will be 42 and in that also 20 will be anyonya avarana 22 will be paraspara avarana in that 20 dosha avrita avarana will be 13 dhatu avrita avarana will be 17 next anna mala mootra avrita will be 3 i'll mention it here then it will be easy for you to remember in your examination point we also here i have made a clear chart regarding the avarana classification by looking at this you can remember each and every type in an easy way first of all i have said 44 types of avarana and in that 20 plus 22 as the subdivisions and in that 20 anyonya avarana will be seen what is the what is meant by anyonya avarana pranavrata samana pranavrata vyana pranavrata apana pranavrata udana okay first of all you have to know for the for remembering this anyonya avarana you have to know the sub types of vata you all will know what are the five types of vata prana apana sa, udana samana vyana in that cases first of all prana must be prana will avarana mm, by samana pranavrata by vyana pranavrata by udana pranavrata by samana like that you have to add later on samana avrata prana like that you have to add 20 types of avarana and later on this 22 for remembering this 22 you can remember it as a 13 7 3 and 1 this is the classification of this 22 types of 
ആവരണം തേർട്ടീൻ സെവൻ ത്രീ വൺ ഇൻ ദ ആക്ട് തേർട്ടീൻ വിൽ ബി ദോഷാവൃത്ത സെവൻ വിൽ ബി ധാത്വാവൃത്ത അന്ന മല മൂത്ര വിൽ ബി ദ ത്രീ ആൻഡ് ദ ഫൈനൽ വൺ ഈസ് ആമാവൃത്ത ടോട്ടലി ട്വൻറ്റി ടു കമ്പൈനിങ് ഓൾ ദീസ് യുൽ ഗെറ്റ് ഫോർട്ടി ഫോർ ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ആവരണം ഓക്കെ ട്വൻറ്റി വിൽ ബി അന്യോന്യാവരണം ട്വൻറ്റി ടു സം ആർ ലാസ്റ്റ് ടു അന്നാവൃത്ത ആൻഡ് മലാവൃത്ത and considered it as 24 both 20 plus 24 will be 44 types of avarana in that 24 you can remember sub classifications as dosha avrata 13 datva avrata 7 anna mala mutra will be the 3 and the final one is ama avrata so that you can get totally 44 types of avarana if it is asked in the examination point of view regarding this avarana means at that time you have to mention the definition synonyms lakshana main feature as i have already said you the one which covers will increase its function and one which is covered by will reduce its function this is the main feature and you have to mention a clarity regarding the avarya and avaraka hmm. later on the classification you have to mention totally 42 some add anavrata malavrata um, and consider as 44 so totally 44 and according to them 20 will be anyonya varana and 24 will be the paraspara varana in that 20 also anyonya varana means sub types of each and every type of vata pitta and kapha will get avarana by another sub type and in the 24 13 will be of dosha vrata 7 will be of dhatva vrata 3 will be of anna mala and mutra and the final one is amavrita like this you can add your classification of avarana later on what is the importance of avarana this you have to know because you are learning this avarana topic why you are learning this avarana what is the use of learning this avarana you have to know that thing then only it will be effective for your answer you have to add this point at the last of your avarana topic even if it is asked or else not asked in the examination you have to mention this what is the importance this concept of avarana will form a root of pathogenesis for many diseases many pathogenesis or uh, many diseases pathogenesis will be um, learned will be identified from this avarana understanding this avarana will increase the quality of treatment because here we are not giving a treatment in a vague point of view here we are considering what is avaraka what is avarya what functions will be reduced and which functions will be increased so that what we have to give treatment for this avaraka or else avarya this thing we are um, clearly noticing in a patient so the quality of the treatment will be automatically increase in such cases if you consider and apply this avarana in your treatment point of view next objective understanding of this dosha gati this can be correlated with that of advanced imaging techniques like usg doppler study and 3d next concept of avarana is not only a hypothetical manner it is also a practically evident one why we are saying this point if if in a patient avarya means the functions of this dosha kapha dosha will be reduced avaraka the functions of this dosha vata will be increased at that time we have to give treatment based on this avaraka and avarya simply we are not giving a treatment based on his lakshana we are considering this avarya and avaraka and we are applying our practical point of view of this avarana in such cases and giving him a treatment if suppose daha trishna vidaha like that symptoms is expressed by that patient who came to you at that time daha trishna will be the cases which we can see in the condition of pitta pitta avrata vata here pitta dosha functions were increasing here pitta is considered as avaraka vata is considered as avarya okay here pitta dosha lakshana were increasing in him so that he is complaining of daha trishna and vidaha so we have to treat the pitta 
దోష శమన చికిత్స మస్ట్ బి అడ్మినిస్ట్రేట్ టు దాట్ పేషెంట్ అలాంగ్ విత్ దాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు గివ్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఫర్ ద ఇంక్రీస్ ఆఫ్ వాత దోష లక్షణ ఆల్సో పిత్తావృత వాత హియర్ ద ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ ఆఫ్ ద పిత్త లక్షణ పిత్త వృద్ధి లక్షణ విల్ బి సీన్ ఇన్ దాట్ పేషెంట్ సో వీ ఆర్ ట్రీటింగ్ ద పిత్త వృద్ధి లక్షణ ఇన్ దాట్ కండిషన్ అండ్ సబ్సిక్వెంట్లీ వీ హ్యావ్ టు give treatment for the vata dosha also so that it will be effective the treatment will be effective we are bringing them both the doshas to a normal state by our treatment so the quality of the treatment will get increased by the application of this avarna okay this completes the entire topic and the importance of this avarna if you need means comment down in the comment section i will make an elaborate lecture regarding this classification also if you understand by this session means it will be fine and good if you need a clear lecture regarding the classification means i will make a separate lecture so what you have to do is listen to this video um mention these points if it is asked in the examination point of view apply this in your clinical aspect so that your treatment quality will get increased when compared to others and this completes our topic in the coming sessions we will discuss a detailed lecture regarding how many other subjects like yantra shastras and swastha vritta padartha vigyana like that many many important topics will be discussed in our classes so what you have to do is like our video subscribe to our channel thank you stay tuned to our channel for more and more updates